How you guys doing? Good. Who wants to start us off? Um, you know, it was, uh, I'm not really, really too concerned about missing the time that I did. Um, anybody that knows me knows that my family always comes first and uh, needed to take care of some stuff and be back home. And um, yeah, it was a tough week, uh, but football was the least of my concerns. But it, it, it's fine now. I've trained hard in the summer. I was in shape enough. It's just getting the timing down with bat, being live football and pads and all that stuff, and it'll come. And that's why we got 30 days to do this thing until uh, what, what, what's our first date? September 12th or something like that? So 10th. All right, there we go. So got a little bit of time to go. Uh, I heard a lot from everybody. Um, it's a really close group, a, really, a bunch of really good guys, um, coaches, staff, and players. Um, it's, uh, it's, been, it's been cool to feel the love of the family that we have here. Um, everybody um, that knows me knows that Dan was as vital to my life as anybody. Um, I'm going to miss him. Gonna, um, uh, I know my Aunt Mary and Kevin are two of the best people that I've ever met, and they're going to miss him. Um, and, and his brothers, Sam, Pat, Jake, and Seamus, um, my heart goes out for them, and um, you know, and everybody here is awesome. And I thank them for all the support that they've given me and my family for the last uh, you know week or two. Sometimes in a, a coach's job, it's easy to have some anxiety. Mm -hmm. Can you relate to that? Or yeah, I mean, I think I have the best job in the world. Um, I don't think anybody, I don't think I'd trade places with anybody. Um, but certainly, life throw some curveballs at you. And um, like I said, family will always come first for me. And um, thankfully, Coach Peyton and, uh, and George and, and everybody else understands that as well. And uh, it, was, it was a no-brainer to just be able to get back home and, and, and be around the people that I love the most. I don't know if you can d uh, directly define it, but you can certainly feel it. Um, it's an attitude, it's a mindset, it's a, the way that you come into work every single day, it's the way that you prepare, it's the way that you respond to adversity, and it's the way that you lift your teammates up, it's the way that you compete, it's all those things all mixed into one. Um, and if you do that at a high level and the best that you can every single day, that, that to me is a winning culture. And it's something that we're certainly building here, it's something that you know Sean and the rest of the coaches believe in, um, and it's something that they've obviously had a lot of success with. And, um, you know, it's our job as players to buy in and, uh, and, you know, try to, you know, direct the message across, especially to the young guys. And, um, you know, there's a lot of things here that, is, that haven't happened the right way in a long time. And it's, uh, you can feel the change in this building and you can feel how hungry guys are to make this right. It's great. Um, I, I firmly believe that you have to win games by running the football, and you command and you command the whole flow of a game by playing able, by being able to run the football. Um, the NFL's about running the football and converting on third down. And if you can do those things well, you're going to have a really successful offensive football team. And um, I think we're built to do it. I think we have a great stable of backs. I think we have a great offensive line and coaches that are getting us all on the same page. And so. Um, it takes all 11 guys on offense to be able to run the ball well. It's not just the offensive line. Um, and uh, I think we have a really great shot to do it, and, and I love the mindset from Coach. Yeah, well, I'm I'm sure. Sure. Uh, how it takes time for an offensive line to gel and find that cohesion and chemistry. Uh, in your experience, the youngest team I coach, how long do you think it will take this line to kind of find that cohesion that needs to be built together? Well, I think we've already been working on it, first and foremost. Uh, we've been working on it since April. Um, it's not just like we've come out here and this is the first time we've ever practiced together. Um, and I don't, you know, it'll take time, but I don't think it'll take very long. I think we have a really good group of football players up front. I think we're very talented and I think we're very um, hardworking and very, uh, you know, detail oriented. And, and Zach and Austin King have done an unbelievable job with us and understanding the principles of what we believe in, understanding the scheme and how to let it go. And, um, and, the, be the biggest thing about it is just playing fast and playing together. And if you trust the coaching, if everybody's hearing the same message, if everybody's helping each other through the process, that's how you get uh, to get on the same page. I, th I, I was taught a long time ago that playing offensive line, you got to see things through one set of eyes. 
Uh, my college coach always believed in that, and that's, uh, that's something that I've always believed in. And um, as an offensive lineman, your goal isn't to be an individual. You want to be a part of the best unit in the NFL, and um, that's what we're going to work for. How about you, you built in the scrims about how you put the snap up a little bit and play against Russ? Did Russell get into that mark and duck the joke about that? I'm sure he couldn't stand me either. I mean, we, we played played a lot of uh, very heart breaking games against each other. It, 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 we, we stole a, a number one seed against them, and I think he was like three and seven, or we were three and seven against him. So I, I certainly, it, it, it's, uh, it's something that we joke about. Obviously, we've, we've known each other's game for a long time, and um, I'm so excited to be on his side now, um, and I think we got a good thing going. Well, I think one, you got to be on your P's and Q's in terms of your assignment, um, and you have to play without hesitation from all the all eleven players, um, and that means being completely confident in what you need to do and what your assignment is, what your technique is, and just letting it rip. Um, I think that's how you get the ball out. That's how, and it's also you know based predicated on the play call. Um, there's there's things that are quick game. There's things that are long developing plays. I think um, it's going to be a mix mix match of of how we do things. I don't I don't really give too much thought into you know how long the ball takes other than making my job easier to not have to block as long you know um, but um, no I think uh, I think no matter what the play call is the best way to have success is just by playing without hesitation and it's and that you do that by your preparation you do that by your confidence level and and the way that you practice and seeing the reps every single day and making sure they're great reps um, and by doing that Everything becomes faster. Your first steps become faster. Your reads become faster, and and all of it falls into place. What do you think about the uh, process? What do, you, what do you think about the Marcus Castro? I think it could be special. I think it it has been. I've I've played I've played Frank quite a bit in my career. I played him in the Super Bowl. I played him. He was in Seattle when I was first uh, a rookie in the NFL. Um, he's a very very, you know, active, hard nosed player. He plays all three downs incredibly well. Randy. The same thing, those guys. And then I play Baron too when he gets healthy. And the rest of the guys on that group are, 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 are solid as well. I think um, uh, that's just the edge guys too. And certainly you got Zach and DJ and all those guys in the me middle that, um, you know, when, when the middle of the pocket's getting pressure, it makes it a lot easier for the edge guys because I think it's, it's going to be a unit that can rush, you know, as a unit. And I think that's how you have the most success in the NFL is when you got all four guys creating pressure and, and, and rushing as – with, with on the same plan um, and, and believing in the principles and, and you know and, and our two coaches Marcus and, and, and uh, Mike For uh, will Horton have done a great job um, with those guys so um, I expect a great deal of pass rush from our team um, they've certainly made it challenging in the first week with pads the energy's gone up the speed's gone up and so um, we're doing a great job there